you know you need to stay hydrated during the summer, but you know, drinking water can get a bit tedious. Well, I don't hold like the it. faucet. <laughs> yeah, she looks like water. I hate water. Our registered so. dietitian Lisa Grizzolanik is here with yourtastylife.com to talk about staying hydrated and eating. Yeah. Right? We can start hydrating with the food we're eating. Eating your water. Eating That's your water, cool. new concept. So we've all heard about drinking at least eight ounces, or eight cups, I should say, eight cups a day of water. But it, I say at least because many Americans need 11 cups or more. Mm -hmm. And that includes the food you eat. So if you're thinking it's just water, actually we can get about 20% or more of our fluid needs from what oh, we're eating. Nice. Many fruits and vegetables have over 90% water by the proportion of their weight. So let's look at some examples. So we have, let's start with cucumbers. Cucumbers are by far the most uh, water-dense solid food we have. They're 96% really? water. So if you have one cup of cucumber, it's the equivalent of taking a half a cup of water. Oh. So that's kind of the example there. So a cup of cucumbers, you get half a cup of water out of that. That's okay. much oh, before hmm. I took that away. Yeah, before she took that away. But we need, we need a feed mama, so that's good. Yeah, then we water have I like too. <laughs> celery. Celery's another one. It's 95% oh, yeah. water. Mm. So three stalks of celery, same equivalent. About half a cup of water we're getting out of the celery. How many stalks? About three stalks. Three stalks. Just yep. three stalks. And the good thing about celery is it's an alkalizing food along with cucumbers. They're alkalizing. So what that means is it can neutralize stomach acid. Oh. And it can help with heartburn or indigestion. So they're good to include in our diet anyway. Oh. Now what if I smear peanut butter all over this? Still Schmear. good. You still get the okay. water. So you got celery water and peanut butter going okay. for you. Very so good. it's still good. A little protein. And there you go. And then zucchini. So zucchini this time of year is, of course, in season here in Wisconsin. And three-fourths cup, which is about one, uh, you know, medium-sized zucchini, gives you about six ounces of water. Mm, pretty good. So you get a good amount of water. And here we just spiralize it. So Make zoodles out of mm -hmm, them. Little tool, yeah. Flip it through there, and it comes out in little strands of noodles here. And it's fun for my daughter likes because she'll eat them like this. Mm -hmm. You know, it's fun to eat. For people the kids. cook them, people eat them raw, so whatever you're fancy. Okay. Moving on to tomatoes. Tomatoes have a great source of water content, 94 percent. So one really? medium tomato is going to give you about six ounces of water again. Okay. So what do we do with this? How do we kind of get it all salsa. together? You can make a salsa, or this here is an example of a real simple tomato cucumber salad. You know, chop up some cucumber, tomato. You can put red onion if you care for it. Salt it, olive oil. Done. Oh, just olive oil. Just olive oil. Yeah. Real simple. Mm -hmm. All you got. This is surprising. Broccoli and uh, cauliflower. Yeah, because yeah, it doesn't look, I mean, Watery. no so liquid great. comes out of it. 92% yeah. water content huh. and cauliflower really? 91 and broccoli. So same thing. You're eating about a cup of these. You're getting a good half a cup or so of water. Huh. So they give you a lot of fluid. Then we got um, all kind of cabbages, whether they're green or red, 91 to 92% water and spinach. Spinach? Spinach. Really? Same thing. 92% water. Now iceberg lettuce has 96, so I know what you might be thinking. I don't like the green, you know, stuff. Iceberg lettuce, you're getting 96% water, but not as much nutrition, of right. course, as the dark greens. Huh. I don't understand the people that, that don't like spinach. If you just phase it in, like you won't even kind notice. I don't know the last time we had lettuce. Yeah, do like salad. some bib lettuce, you know, yeah. the one that's kind of in between, or romaine, and kind of get you gradually to the spinach good leaves. Stuff. It's good mm. stuff. Good for you, right? It's good and good for you. Yeah. Then lastly, I fruit. love this. Okay, so a lot of fruits have over 90% water content by weight. So cantaloupe and watermelon, 92% wow. water content. I mean, hello, watermelon has the right. word water in it. And hello. then strawberries <laughs> are another one. So strawberries have about 92% water content. Most berries, 80% or more. Really? So again, okay. what do you do? Combine the ones you like together into a little fruit salad. So if we start adding up, I had a, a cup of fruit today, and then I had at least my three cups of vegetables in the day, right? All of a sudden, oh. we're adding all the water content up through the day, and you can easily consume two to three cups of water from yeah. what you're eating. So if you're not a and fan that's of like a what a, a quarter or a third of what you yeah, should have a third all day? for sure. I mean, if we're shooting for that minimum eight cups, keep in mind on humid days like today, of course, we need more. If you're exercising, yeah. you need more. Depending on your age, you might have different levels, but easily could get two or three cups of water through what you're eating. And it says here in the information that most Americans, a good chunk of Americans, are dehydrated. Seventy-five percent. Seventy-five percent. And it affects everything. Headaches. Oh, yeah. headaches. How you perform in sports. So for the Energy. kiddos, we've talked about this before. You know, I mean, hydrating with these fruits and vegetables gives you nature's natural vitamin and mineral packets yeah. to rehydrate those losses of those minerals. So you get it all right here. You get water and you get the minerals and vitamins you need. So Makes it's sense. a win-win. And it's delicious. Win -win. And you brought lunch for us, so we yeah. appreciate Dig that. Dig in. Lisa G, thank you. More information. We'll get you a link to her site from our site. We'll be back after this.